Law enforcement officials in Europe have admitted that the terrorist cells and the overall terrorist network, belonging and affiliated with everybody from Al-Qaeda to the Islamic State, is far greater and more extensive and extends across more areas of Europe than previously thought. Police have revised their estimates concerning the overall size of the terrorist cells based on recent raids in the aftermath of the Brussels attacks. Hillary Clinton is going to be questioned by the FBI, finally, in regards to her email server scandal. We now know that Hillary Clinton did lie on several occasions. She told a falsehood when she said that she started using the server in April, when in fact she had used it as early as March. She also deliberately failed to attend a security class to properly teach her on how to safeguard and make sure her emails were secure. The FBI will be questioning Hillary Clinton and looking to see if she broke any laws. North Korea is threatening South Korea once again. This time they have threatened to wipe out the presidential palace and compound. North Korea, every week for the past several weeks, has made new repeated threats against South Korea or the United States, threatening to wipe out this or that. At the rate they're continuing, they're going to run out of things to threaten. American-backed rebels in Syria who are trying to overthrow brutal dictator Bashar Assad are now busy killing each other. This is yet another sign that Barack Obama's policy in Syria is a huge failure. Obama shares the blame not only by himself. The other person who shares the blame with him is former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, whose bright idea was to try to depose Bashar Assad in the first place. You can see how well that has worked out. Robert De Niro has pulled his movie, which questions the practicality and the scientific validity of using vaccinations. De Niro says he's pulled the film because it doesn't communicate the relevant point. Put another way, he's wrong and just doesn't want to admit it. Despite awful reviews by critics, the latest superhero action flick, Batman vs. Superman, seems to be doing well. It has eked out nearly $200 million at the box office after being out for just a few days.